بالله من الشيطان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اتي الله اتي الرسول اولو الامر منكم and the reminder was for myself and abdukul ajeezu da'ifu miskinu zalim jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence and we took a path in which to be nothing and to be dressed by Allah's immense grace, immense blessings. Alhamdulillah Allah gave us a life in which to see the, this holy night of the 15th of Ramadan and the birth of Imam al-Hasan ibn Ali Abu Muhammad al-Mujtaba alayhi salam and alhamdulillah the importance of such souls and because we teach from a different way that people may talk about the events of their physical lives and physical characteristics and that to give you a sense of their suffering in life, the difficulties of what they went through. But more important is the spiritual reality or towards the understanding because no one can understand what Allah has dressed these blessed souls with but they give only a hint of an understanding towards that reality. That from the world of light it comes these knowledges that when Allah was creating creation and brought this light all into existence. From this light what they call insana kamil in which it's all the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah and they give that example of the image of a man and a circle is encompassing him means that all of creation is actually in this one insan and everything exists within this insan and what we call Nurul Muhammadi from this majestic creation in which Allah created min kun fayakun bi Muhammad every place of this light has a reality. Every dress of this light has a reality just like the shaykhs are teaching from our physicality. That your hands have a reality, they're not just there as Allah's entertainment, there's a secret on them. Your eyes have a reality. What you see from them, what the eyes are capable of, your tongue has a reality, your heart has a reality. Imagine then in the world of light this creation that Allah creates and what realities He placed in them as ancient realities. Because we have to always think from malakut not from the mulk. The mulk is just a small reflection for a short period of time. When they teach you from the world of light it becomes relevant to your world right now. Because if they teach you only from the form that these personalities, they did this, they suffered like this and they went then you say, okay well what am I going to do with that now? But malakut means that this angelic world of light has no time and it's always relevant to you right now every time all the way from beginning of time to the end of time because it's the reality of our light. So when Allah creating that light then Qurat al-Ain, Jadda al-Hasanin wal Husaini. When Allah fashioned the eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad and what significant the eyes have, the window to the soul of that reality, the window to the heart of that reality, that's why then awliyaullah made these Nat Sharif and these Nasheeds, Jatta al Husayni, Qurat al Ain, the beatific light of my eyes is Imam Jaf. Imam al Hasan wal Imam Husayn as salam. That's when they were reciting these. That Jatta al Hasani wal Husayni, the grandfather of Imam al Hasan and Husayn, they are the sweetness and the dearness of the eyes of Prophet. And this is not for the mulk, this is not only the world of the physical, but they were describing these realities of the spiritual.
So when Allah fashioned the eyes of Prophet the right eye he brought from that reality and created Imam al Hasan's soul. And that reality of that soul would carry the reality that he wanted to name it with. So every name that Allah brought it's not a name that we thought of in dunya because Allah creates the secret and creates the name for which that secret can be understood. So this is like the, the spiritual decoding, it's not the physical. And that's why Prophet for their names he waited for Sayyidina Jibreel to come and give the names. They were not just people's idea of a name. So when Allah created that light and that right eye is a nur that comes out and Allah created that light to be of a sifat rahman in which all, all the physical manifesting creation is under the authority of Sifat rahman Allah created that light, established within it that this light will be under the, the domain of my attribute of rahman and everything will be manifesting from this light. So every type of manifestation is manifesting from the authority of Sifat rahman Each attribute is, is it's like Divine authority, it has its own government, has its own reality, has all of its own authorities and it submits to Ismullah al-Azam, Allah. So every attribute has its own dominion, has its own purpose, has its own reality, has its own lordship in which it must submit and it submits to the authority of the name Allah. Because Allah that name is the authority of all names, beautiful names and attributes. But in the creation of Sifat al-Rahman, al-Arsh al-Dawa that this attribute is the authority for everything in the world of form that is manifesting. So this is an immense reality of Sifat al-Rahman. And everything that manifesting has a light that coming out. So from insana common the right eye of Prophet is a nur that everything is manifesting from that nur. From that light Allah began to pull its elements. He said, from this element of this light I'm going to pull out and I'm going to bring the huruf of ha and ocean of hayat. So then Allah takes the element and the reality of that Rahman and puts within it an ocean of al hayat. And this ha of the name Hasan is the secret of the oceans of al hayat. Is now the, the elements that are dressing the reality of that soul of. Imam al Hasan Salam, that's why Allah named it. So, this element of this soul has the secret of all eternal life. That when Allah is going to bring that secret out, He's going to put it and say, I'm going to put the ha for it because this ha is a code for the ocean of eternity. I'm going to bring another section of that light to make His soul and I'm going to put the seen in it. And because his soul carries the secret of his beloved grandfather, he carries Nurul Anwar wa Sirat al Asrar. By the, the power of the oceans of eternity and ocean of life that everything comes to life, Allah dresses it with the secret of the seer and the secret of the manifestations of light because everything has to have that secret that it's manifesting. And then Allah brings in a reality of light and puts and gives that light a noon. So means that noon is a noor in which the manifest world begins to manifest and it's seen to you because that noon is there. If Allah didn't want the creation to be seen that name and that noon would not be there in Rahman. 
So from that noon of Rahman Allah put into this light of Imam al-Hasan salam this noon. So the elements that make ha seen noon they are not from dunya, they are not thought of names from dunya but when Allah give this revelation to Prophet that this grandchild of yours his name is Hasan. It's coming with all the realities of this oceans of light and that, Ya Rahman bahaq al-Imam al-Hasan that, that this name of our Rahman Ya Rabbi and what secrets and what dress you have written upon it and by the reality of what you dress this soul of al-Hasan, Imam al-Hasan salam of all its immensities unknown to us, un, un, understood by us, I'm asking from that reality, Ya Rahman bi haqq al-Imam al-Hasan and from whatever light you dressed of, of the realities of light, the oceans of al-Hayat, the ocean of the secret of his beloved grandfather, how much Sayyidina Muhammad loved them. How much she tried to show that their importance and how, how, how dear they are to his reality. But because of hasad of dunya they were inflicted with tremendous difficulties. And people did what they did regardless of understanding or no understanding of the secret. So by loving them and loving what Prophet asked of us to love it opens this secret, I left for you Qur'an and my family, I left for you Qur'an and my sunnah. Means I left for you sunnah is my family. If you don't follow my family and you don't have a love for my family you're not following the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad It became a key, it wasn't two versions, it's one version of the same hadith that I'm giving to you Qur'an and my way with all that you know about it, all that you're following of beards and hats and everything. But I also gave you my family because they hold the key to your Islam. They hold the key to your Islam because of what Allah dressed them of realities, dressed them and blessed them of realities. So these were the secrets in, in the inheritance that Sayyidina Muhammad gave to his nation. So with this reality of the ha, an ocean of hayat, the reality of the seen and the secret of Sayyidina Muhammad and the reality of the noon and the light that manifests. So imagine then when Allah wants you to love them so that they dress you from the reality so that your right eye becomes an inheritance. What we said, a Rashideen, Mahdiin wa kamileen. When a shaykh is going to make kamil, what does that mean kamil? <clears throat> that the, the, the ten people in, in, a, in a village somewhere say, this shaykh is kamil shaykh and this my shaykh is Murshid kamil, my <laughs> it's not that. Kamil means Allah is perfecting them from insana kamil. Means that their eye is inheriting the eye, their right eye is inheriting from Insana Kamil the, the light of Imam al Hasan salam. And he gives into their eye the light and the secret of Sifat al Rahman, and their right eye is then given a light. With that light, they can bring the, the lightless heart, the heart that is devoid of faith, devoid of hope. Just their eye is enough to hit people and fill their hearts with light. And that's why we say, Ya Rahman bi haqqa Mawlana Shah Naqshaban, he had such a, a connection and reality from them, he will intercede four levels of paradise with his right eye coming out, dressing the, the inhabitants of Yawm al Mashar. Because of just this sifat of, of Rahman and nur that coming from his eye it began to dress. So all mashaykh they're inheritors from Ahlul Bayt and they're all Ahlul Bayt. 
So this is the perfection of what they inherited. When you inherit an eye it's not from you, it's from Prophet and what Prophet gave to his family and his holy companions, all his companions are Ahlul Bayt. You don't think any one of them is not family? They're all Ahlul Bayt because he established that with the understanding of Sayyidina Sulaiman of Farsi, he's my Ahlul Bayt. You know how Bakr Siddiqah is of Ahlul Bayt? Of course, he gave his daughter, his family, Sayyidina Uthman and Qani had two daughters that were given to him to be married. The Umar of Farooq is all Ahlul Bayt. So this is the reality of Ahlul Bayt and their inheritance for insan. So what makes it relative for our lives today is to have a love for them. When we have a love for them and, and understand their reality and trying to understand their reality and, that, and learning from what the shaykhs are giving to us, the Ya Rabbi open my eye, open the light within my eyes to inherit from these realities. By my love for Imam al Hasan salam, Ya Rahman bi haqqan Imam al Hasan. Perfect my eye and perfect the nur that coming into my soul so that you dress that eye and begin to make me Kamil. So when the shaykhs are beginning to be dressed by Kamil means they're dressed with the right eye from Prophet and Sifatul Rahman dresses their eye. And with that eye light is given out and that's why my hearts can regain faith. Many people emailed that they were very suicidal, they were in very dark place, they were very bad places and as soon as they start to attend the majlis, start to attend the teachings they feel they're not feeling like that. Why? Because the, the world takes the light of people's heart away. It just starves the soul that, is this it? This is the world I just run to pay my bills and better jump on off a mountain than, than to do like a life like that and they become hopeless. But these are the fountains of youth when we're talking about Jadd and Hassani and Husseini, they are the, the owners of Qur'an and these nasheeds they say they are the owners of Holy Qur'an. Means what light Allah giving to their souls, they're the owners of paradise. So you don't think if the light of Imam and Hassan comes towards you, you know it or you don't know it your heart is not going to be revived. 100% you have to have the belief. So then that shaykh his, his eye is common. Then his left eye we described before that's for the night for Imam al Husayn Because Husayn means small Hassan because he was the younger of the two Hassans. So he is a Hassan and, and the other eye is also a Hassan. And Allah put a different reality into the left eye for Imam al Husayn from the ocean of Al Hayat. But for tonight, Imam al Hasan is the ocean of Sifat al Rahman. And this nur and this light to come out by loving them, by respecting them, by, by bringing cake for them, by attending majlises and posting that may we be blessed by their birth to revive the hearts of other people to hear these names, look at their lives, they play an important role and so that we gain their love and their nazar. Their love and their nazar they begin to support that I want to give you from my inheritance, I want your eye to be dressed from this reality. And Allah coded these secrets in Holy Qur'an. When Allah revealed Ayatul Kareem, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanat, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanat, Surah Al-Baqarah verse 201, Hajish Shahid, Surah Baqarah 201 <laughs> Fit dunya 
حسنات وفي الآخرة حسنات وقنا عذاب النار صدق الله العلي العظيم صدق الله العظيم وبركة رسول الكريم that's like Rahman and Raheem. They say, aren't they both mercy? Yeah, but Rahman is a mercy for dunya to open the realities of dunya. Sifat al Rahim, you need that compassion to pass Sirat al Mustaqeem, and that becomes the mercy of paradise that want to open for you. So, when Allah it means attain has hasanat. And we describe for many years, what does attain hasanat mean? Goodness. Then people of dunya they think, you know, be good and get some candy and go here and go there. No, Allah is saying, Hasan means that attain the reality of Imam al Hasan that you must love him, you must be around the sadat and ashraf of Sayyidina Muhammad because that's what Prophet asked of us, I live for you my family. So then if you want the, the goodness of this life, look around and see if you're with any of these sadat, those whom their lineage is from Imam al Hasan as Oh, that they love Imam al Hasan as and Imam Hasan as has dressed them from their family light, from their family inheritance, from their family blood. So that was Allah's way, Allah's way of confirming what Prophet had asked because all of Prophet's life was to teach you how, how to keep your love for Allah Now Allah want to keep and teach you how to keep your love for Sayyidina Muhammad You see the love relationship? The Prophet is teaching never about that of his family, he kept silent, kept the best of manners but make Allah happy, make Allah happy, do all these actions, do all these good deeds. And Allah in turn is, is asking us, make Prophet happy, be with his family, take care of the family, look to your life and see if, you're, if, you, if your life is filled with crooks. And you think you're going to have hasanat in dunya and hasanat in akhirah? You don't have any hasans amongst you? So it means keep the company of good people. If you show me who your friends are, I tell you who you are. And that's what atina dunya, in my life Ya Rabbi let me to attain goodness. And awliyaullah come into our lives and be with awliya because all of them are Ahlul Bayt. Be with the turuqs. And the reality of their heart attract all Ahlul Bayt and many who don't even know their Ahlul Bayt. They say, oh I'm Jewish, no but you're Ahlul Bayt, your Kohanim, your lineage is coming from a reality that is connecting you to the heart of Prophet Most people they have no understanding who their inheritance is coming from, who their lineage is coming from unless they come from very religious families and they have their shajara, they have their tree of who their, their families are connected to. So it means that's the, the, the oasis that Allah is describing, be with the turuqs, they're all the inheritors and their heart, its natural magnet attracts all the family because that's what Prophet wants, collect my family, be with them, eat with them, dress them, fix them, clean them. Say, oh I'm from an Indian background, I'm from a Irish background, I'm from the moon. It doesn't matter where you are, you probably don't know your lineage and your connection to Sayyidina Muhammad because you don't even know your name, how are you going to know where you came from? So there, these realities and the ancient reality of their bloodline and their light line, how it connects to that reality. But to know that their magnet is big ashaqeen, as a result it attracts all of that descendancy and brings all the family towards its reality. And that's why you see their majlis is mainly Ahlul Bayt and many people don't even know that because their heart is bringing what Prophet wanted and when Allah makes it that way to make Prophet happy. We won't leave your descendants to be in, in a nothing, 
because that makes you happy I will make these servants of mine to attract your family. And if they're not your family by their bloodline and their light line, I will make them your family by the way they serve and they love the Muhammadan reality. Anyone coming to a Muhammadan reality and asking, Ya Rabbi I want to serve it, he's an inheritor of Sayyidina Sulaiman of Farsi in the Naqshbandi tariqah that he came and served in his life of service, no jihad, no uh, Ramadan, no nothing. He just served his whole life to meet and to be with Sayyidina Muhammad He served a Jewish rabbi, a Christian monk, he served an uh, idol worshipper, he served everybody for the sake of being with Sayyidina Muhammad to serve the last messenger of Allah By the time he arrived in Medina and was able to break free of his slavery that he was sold into slavery. And he was became Asiya, he became captive just for his ishq to be with Sayyidina Muhammad And by the time he came to the presence of Prophet no fight, no Ramadan, no nothing. He told his companions that Salaman is from my family. So means that all Ashaqeen will be dressed from that reality and become Ahlul Bayt. So when Allah that becomes Ayat al-Kareem, atina attain, attain a goodness and this has nothing to do with dunya. If you want goodness in your life find these associations of Ahlul Bayt and the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad and they love the Holy Companions because the Holy Companions are all Ahlul Bayt. As a result they're one family and don't get involved in their arguments. Just like in physical world you your finger in somebody's family and, and they make up, they remember you and throw you out. So same, same for all these realities, this one big family, love them all, respect them all, put our, our light and our love into them and what Allah is going to begin to dress you because other nights we talk about the holy companions, you, you, you can't inherit Qur'an, Sayyidina Usman has to dress you. Jami al-Qur'an and Majeed of what Allah and Prophet gave to each holy companion and the reality that they carry. So we're here to inherit from all to become common. And when they don't have the love of the uh, Ashab and Nabi, they're not common, they will all perish from the earth. Anyone not loving what Prophet wanted and loved exact. They will perish from this earth and they have no right to be in the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi Kamil is that they loved all the companions, they loved the family and they inherited from each companion a gift and a reality. We said that if you want the realities of Qur'an, Sayyidina Uthman, Jami al-Qur'an and Majeed has to be dressing you, he has to be happy with you. He has to have a love for you and ask Prophet let me to give from the secret of Qur'an that I understood and what was bestowed upon my soul. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is the Siddiq al-Mutlaq, I have to perfect the character of truthfulness. He has to give that inheritance unto the soul of the student to make them Siddiqiyah and, and, and truthful character. So we pray that in this holy night and why Allah gave this reality on the 15th and to give it in Ramadan because Allah wants the nation to achieve these realities that they cannot achieve with their zakat, they cannot achieve it by going for hajj, they cannot achieve it with their salah. It's just fast and I'm going to give you gifts that you can't even imagine. Now this shaykh is talking these things, it's easier for you because you, oh I heard now Ya Rabbi and the soul heard it. And the soul will begin to ask Allah, please Ya Rabbi I didn't do anything to deserve anything but because it's Ramadan and what you're going to give no eye has seen, no ear has ever understood, dress me from these lines, dress me from this sifat of Rahman, its reality and the reality of Imam al Husayn as salam and Imam al Hasan as salam, Ashab al Nabi as salam and that Allah to be pleased with us and perfect our lives and perfect our action and our character so that we can can be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basira Surat al-Fatiha.